Okay, we are back again. I'm set up one of our fiber classes. And I'm going to be demonstrating the combs from Blue Mountain Handcraft again. And we're going to use Tarji this time. Nice, fluffy. This particular stuff is long staple. I've already done a few. But we're going to take this and we're going to load it on our comb. We're going to do butt end first this time. I've got everything set up as you can see in this pan here. I got them all in nice little rows. Butt, tip, butt, tip, butt, tip. And we're going to load our comb now. So we're going to take some and we're going to put it on first two. Like that. This on the first two. Before warned, we've got dry weather here today in the Dakotas. After uh, about a week of wind, it seems like. It seems like we got uh, five days when we don't have wind. So we're very humid. Load all the butts in the sand. So butt ends on. This is really nice stuff. This is this I just washed up. It took a little while to dry. You'd think with it being dry out, we wouldn't have any problems with it drying, but it didn't want to dry right away. So I had to wait a few days before I could actually anything with it. Um, staple link is a little bit different. This is the same fleece, same tarji, but some of it's long staple. So it's short staple. I think we've got a lamb's wool here. It looks like it. It's tippy, very tippy. I don't know if you can see that. Lots of curls. This other stuff isn't. It's curly. I'm going to load it up. Try to speed along here so you're not listening to me talk about what we're doing. You will see what we're doing. Look at the crimp in this. You see that? A lot of spring to that, huh? Look at the crimp. Wow. It's hard to believe that this all came from one, one fleece because there's just such a wide range of crimp on it. Some is really crimpy, some is not. Some has got very, very long, lofty staple, and some has got really tight, compact staple. And I'm sure you all know what staple is. That's the length of your fiber. And you want at least three inches. This doesn't look like three inches, but once it gets combed out, it's going to look more like it, but we're going to, we got some long stuff down here, almost an inch longer. So there's almost more of an inch there. I'm going to push the rest of this back in my bag just to keep it. I've got a fan going and I don't want it to blow all over the place. Now remember, be careful with these. They're sharp, not majorly sharp, but they're sharp enough that if you're swinging, you could hurt yourself. Four pitch. This is our hackle, and this is our four-pitch comb. The other video I did, I had the two-pitch comb out. We're using the four-pitch comb here, and it's the hybrid comb that they make from Blue Mountain Handcrafts. And we're going to just go at the tips. Like I said, it's very dry. There's quite a bit of a static electricity going on, so our little comb is going to look like it's got quite the little hair doing a little bit. I really like the, the weight of these combs. It's not too heavy. They aren't too light. So you've got the comb pretty much doing work for you. Look at how fast we went through that. Wasn't that nice? These are nice, nice, beautiful locks. I'm going to try and get as much as we can. This was a little bit dirty. I did a lot of kicking through it so that I could set them in butt into tips in my pan. So 
you aren't going to see too much of the VM vegetable matter that was in here. Most of it's been picked out by hand. It never hurts. The better, the better you pick it out, the nicer you're going to have your top. This stuff, I'm just going to go like this and wiggle a little bit. It's nice stuff. I don't want to, I don't want to leave it. So I'm going to go like this, work back and forth, and just get it off of there. See? Look at that. Nice, soft. I'm going to set this over here for now. And then we're going to take this off. Not that much waste. See that? Hardly any waste. Save this. Use it for our art bats. And here's our first time off with the comb. And we're going to put it back on to the hack. And beans, it's so humid, or not humid, beans, it's so dry, we are going to keep our hand going in between swipes so that it doesn't puff up and, and take off all over the place, which is what it's been doing. And we're going to get as much as we can back on the hackle. Once you get going with this, with Discover, you can put it on from one to the next rather quickly. Still watch what you're doing. Don't want to get poked. See how it flies? See, that poked. Didn't go through the skin, but it's just enough to... Got a snaggle there. Here we go. We're going to keep going. Flip it. Take some more off. Get some at the back here. We don't want to pull it off the comb all the way, so we've got to be careful. See how nice that is? All pretty much the same length now. Once it was brushed out or combed out, same length. There's just so much crimp in that other suit. What looked like shorter stuff, that it looked like it was going to be completely different length. Comb and comb and comb until we can't get any more off. So down, just a tiny little bit twist. See that? Down a little twist. Down a little twist. That will get some more off. 